morning viewers from me and Buster. Uh, we're out with Go Detect the Midlands today. It's seven miles from my home in Evesham, Worcestershire. Uh, just near a very well-heeled ancient village called Broadway or town in the Cotswolds. So hopefully some good finds for all of us. See you there in a minute. So here we are viewers. Cloud fields in the Cotswolds. Just waiting for Vicky. All of my friends and viewers selling them at Equinox. So I hope she does really well with it. Well, I don't want to go too far from the cars because I am keeping an eye out for Vicky. She's running five or ten minutes late. So I'm just bobbling around here. And I got this, kind of looks like a ring, uh, could possibly be a ring, it's bronze, so it's old, it's old anyway, whatever it was used for, cool. Right viewers, as I said, just waiting for Vicky, Vicky has arrived. <laughs> Hi! Thank you for supporting my channel and buy me Equinox at a decent price, Vicky. No problem. I did give you the option to haggle. You did, and I didn't take it. I'm willing to pay him the money that he wants for it. God bless. Um, and we hope Support it's... Him, Buster. And congratulations on your first row yeah, the other day. Thanks, thanks. I gave Vicky some tips. Have you got one? I did, I did. All right, mate. How's it going? So we'll get on it for you. It's good luck, Vicky. Yeah, thank well, my you. friends had a roaming off this area, and uh, there's a lot of stone lying about on the ground here. Look. Sorry, I'm trying to shade it from the wind. Uh, some people call these devil's toenails, but these come up a lot on Roman sites. Some sort of seafood for them back in the day. So I'll give this area with all the stone a good going over. Always try and read the fields a bit when you're out viewers. You know, most of you know that. Just add this. Uh, the buckle bit doesn't look particularly old, but it's got a little metal plate on it. So I would, uh, I would assume that'll be a, around about medieval being made like that. That wasn't very deep. Lovely day out today. Sorry it's a bit windy though, I will try and uh, shield it from the wind a bit viewers. I'll look around for another uh, wind jammer now that I've sold me Nox as well, I'll be able to afford a better one. Even though the last one wasn't cheap, it's a bit fiddly. It's got a thimble. Not deep any of these little finds I've had up to now, so hopefully the plough's been bringing the old stuff up too. Gosh, this beautiful speed out here. Lovely. It's got a nice little bottom viewers. Right, sunshine and viewers and um, there's Lawrence. Thanks for having us today, mate. Uh, what was your name again? Tony. Tony, and you're on the apex. Yeah. And he was up by a footpath in the top corner. Top. And look at this, viewers. Look at this. It's got to be the best George I I've ever seen it for a copper. The only way they'll come up like that normally is silver, as in, you know, the condition. This is an absolute peach of a George I. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. 1723. That deserves a George I fist pump, Tony. Smashed it with that copper. Thank you. That is right up there with a hammer or something in that condition. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done, Buster. I know. I know. I'm, just, I'm just thick, mate. I've really got a bad memory. I'm catching up with Scotty, and he was over on that Roman area I pointed out before me. And he, it, yeah, it's toasted, but it's a Roman Cistercius. And uh, you've got a sixpence, and what, what's that one? A George III, I think. George III, Penny. Yeah. So you've had three quarter, I don't think I've had any Scotty, I've had a few buttons. But yeah. we'll, we'll get something nice today, yeah. and he's just uh, third time out with the yeah. day or two yeah. on the pitch programme. 
cool beans. Lovely day though, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. It's got the top of a crotal bell view as could have been a nice one with the patterns on that as well. Let's hope there's a full one here. It's got thimble viewers. But you don't really get much smaller than this one. They must have had children out in the fields for sure doing this work of sewing the sacks up and that in the 1800s. Look at that. That's my little finger. That wouldn't go anywhere near that. Definitely a very small child's thimble. Toddler must have walked, used it. <laughs> Gonna say lucky Jaffro, but with Jaffro, it's usually it's about it's usually about skill with Jaffro. Oh <laughs> my lord! Look at this, viewers. Let me see if you can get it in the light. Well, get it in the shade there for you. He's got a small. Don't dare come poaching my spot. I know you. A small Celtic silver unit. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. I'll, I'll let you clean that when you get in. Oh, on the Celtic silver, hey! well done, mate. <laughs> Bang in. Let me just run it under my coil, see where it comes in. That I, I just found this after Jaffro's uh, beautiful silver unit. Look at that, there's loads of pattern on it. And I wasn't sure what it was, it looked old. And what are you saying it is? I'd say it's a, a decorative mount, Saxon mount. Probably, Saxon. Pro probably, probably would have been round, Yeah. originally. And it could have been held on with a pin through the middle there. Oh, cool. Well, Saxon and Celtic, mate. Hey, got, got, a, got a stick round here now, haven't we? And uh, a cut quarters just come up from one of our other mates here. Right on this spot where the silver unit and that little bit of Saxon have just had. Nice little area. Well done, mate. Yeah. On the hammered. Beautiful old steam train there, viewers. It just let its whistle off. I forgot we were by one of these heritage lines. Saxon, medieval, Celtic history coming up. Wow. I hope you pick that up on the microphone then. All this ancient history coming up and uh, the history of our railways giving us a drive by. Absolutely awesome to see it out in the field. Wonder if we get another choo choo. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Well, we've got a Roman here as well, and uh, yeah, around about the Constantine era, and it's got the wolf. Suckling, Romulus and Remus, the two uh, legendary twins who founded Rome, and it's come up for our Welsh putty. Hey. Well done, mate. <laughs> well done. How's it, bro? I'm on to a board here. There's a train going by again on the other side. Awesome. Absolutely awesome, viewers. Love it. Just missed it giving its whistle. Look at that steam train chugging along. Don't see that every day, viewers. Lovely Cotswolds. Marvellous. Well, it's gone half a lap, and I think this is my first coin. I don't think it's much, though. Toasted old halfpenny from the 1700s, like the beautiful one we've seen earlier, probably. But that one is toasty. Catching up with Eddie, and uh, Eddie's got uh, two Roman. Yeah, there is a fair bit of detail on that one. Catch it in the light. So they are here. Well done, Eddie. And uh, we're, we're, I've come down to the railway track. I'm going to get a close-up for you, viewers. That train should be back in five minutes or so. It's going up and down a few miles. Local uh, Cotswolds Heritage Railway. Oh, 
bike band. Yeah, it's another old. Unfortunately, it's just another piece of lead as well, viewers. That's how my day's been going. Bits of lead, a few buttons and stuff. It's been some nice stuff come up. Uh, Vicky uh, messaged me. She's had a fibula. She's over there. So, yeah. Stuff here. I feel like I'm on a bit of a quiet spell myself recently. Can't remember my last big banger. But yeah, that's metal detecting for you, isn't it, viewers? You've just got to keep on digging the holes. The more holes you dig, the more you will have cool finds in your house to look at. But it does uh, get gets you down a bit when, when you really, really want to find something and every signal is a bit of lead or half a button. But it's metal detecting. It's not coin collecting. I'm just catching up with Vicky. Uh, she's had that Roman fibula on the right there. Cool. Always nice to get on the Romans. Beautiful button. It's on, it's on the front of it. It's just... If I can turn it over, you can see it's hollow. But that's been a nice uh, livery button from people who lived in a house like that and they made the servants wear these buttons. They, they didn't wear these buttons, the rich people. These livery buttons work for the poor people like us, Vicky. <laughs> Yeah, fair play. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Steve. That's beautiful. Nice and sunny, though, isn't it? Beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Well, there, there you go, viewers. Uh, my first nice medieval find of the day. It's just gone two o'clock. You hear the steam train whistle? That's saluting my uh, medieval spectacle buckle. Just a little dinky one, viewers. Nice to see the train go past them, isn't it? Well, I'm just giving Vicky some tips on the knocks, but I'm very rusty on the old knocks. Look, it's got the lucky stickers on. The lucky, it's shit sticker, that's the luckiest. It's got everything on it though, it's got the heart of England decal. And we just checked signals that I just found this signal, and it banged out on the knocks as well. Uh, part of a little medieval buckle, I think. I really, fingers crossed, it's going to be a lucky machine for you, Vicky. Right, well, Callum was just helping us out with a few tips for Vicky and the Knox. And this good deed has gone rewarded. Callum is on, uh, it's probably an Eddie Penny. It's uh, fragmented, but it's still a good chunk of uh, medieval silver history coinage. And you get to take it back to Wales, hey. Callum. What, what, what part of Wales are you in? South Wales, Pontypridd. Pontypridd. Nice. Fair play, mate. Top man, thank you. Steve. Fair play. Bunter's uh, happy. Got a little piece here. Not sure what it is. It's old. Uh, any viewers uh, can take a guess. Let me know whether that's. I don't know whether it's off an old uh, medieval or Roman piece, buckle, I don't know. It's got two loops there, that side, whole work. Probably had, probably had a third loop there, yeah. So, interesting little piece there, I'm not sure what it is, viewers. I just shouted over to Vicky, uh, see how she's getting on, has she got any targets yet with the knocks? And uh, you can see that's a C there, that's Canada, that's off probably Royal Canada. It might have been just the whole word, just Canada or Canadian, part of a cat badge, Vicky. First find of the Knox. Big gun. Yeah, exactly. Well, at least it's something. It is, and I'm well happy. Good.
Right viewers, well that's the end of the rally and Vicky's kindly just put uh, a good a good uh, deposit in my bank account for the Knox. Thank you, Nicky. You're welcome. Uh, Nicky. <laughs> Vicky. You're welcome. Mickey, Vicky, Nicky. <laughs> um, and we just we just been chatting and Vicky's granddaughter is an Anglo-Celtic fan. What, what's she, her name again? Amy Reid. Amy Reid. Uh, I will put a sticker in the post for you. Man. Just got Vic, get Vicky to give me the address and we'll get one off to you. Oh, stop. Make sure you get out. Vicky's got two machines now. Yeah. And uh, we, if, they're, if they're not suitable, we'll have to see about getting you one that's suitable for your age range. Bless them. All right. Yeah. Happy days. Right, viewers. Well, that's another one in the bag. And uh, while I'm filming, I can't sat nav, but let's see. Oh, flying by today. Uh, oh, let's switch him off, who's he? Let's see. <coughs> if we can sat nav it. I mean, get home without the sat nav. Get home without the sat nav, viewers. <coughs> Stop your yapping, cunts. You'll, you'll lose me 1,500 subscribers, mate. Stop it. <coughs> Always nice to get out, viewers. I hope you're all getting out this weekend. And that. <coughs> Let's see if we can remember the way back. It's only seven miles. If we get lost, we get lost. Buster does like to um, Buster does not like to bark, viewers, while I'm driving. Which come this way? I'm pretty sure it was just up here then. Oh, I don't know. Let's just chance it, eh? Let's chance it. Oh, I've come to the village only turning. Oh, we're lost already, viewers. This is a mini adventure. Mini adventure, viewers. Laberton village only it said. So I have no idea why I'm going up here really. Be a nice Cotswolds village though at the end of this track. Might have a nice old church as well. Let's go and see. Can you see those Cotswolds buildings viewers? Slightly. Oh yeah, there's the old church there. Oh, I don't know. I might have to sat and have it at some point. Let me just show you a bit of this footage while I'm here. Oh, banter. don't know what's up here viewers probably nothing after all this just a bit more of the Cotswolds anyway oh this is an awful camera angle I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn around in this person's posh driveway I know some of them don't like it I hope we don't get sheltered up viewers Oh, an Elliot, the fucking big sandstone <coughs> curb engine, that wouldn't have helped a <coughs> bit. That's better, at least you're a bit straighter now, viewers. Well, there's another one from old wonky Anglo Celtic. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe please viewers, I love you all and I'll be out on another rally tomorrow, hopefully finding cool shizzle. So oh, apparently part of a Saxon mount what I got today, that raggedy bit of metal, according to Jeffro, and Jeffro does know his onions, that can go with uh, all my raggedy bits of metal there look. 
it's overflowing viewers, I need a bigger coffee cup. Some little buckles. Yeah, just before I was going out today, I realised that, um, sorry, I realised that it was a very local dig and I looked up my rates here, look, hang on. I looked up my dear rates there as I was going out the door and I said, wish me luck, rates. Uh, it's local dig, let's see if we can get some local history. Because she did, she loved nothing better than me finding local history and occasionally she did really good herself on one of Lawrence's weekenders just down the road. She had a nice medieval B.I. thimble and other bits. So I asked her to wish me luck. Didn't really get any big bangers today. But the Equinox that I just sold Vicky, I bought that with uh, the money that I got when I had to sell Rachel's car. I got about 600 odd quid for Rachel's little car. And... Uh, Got all that money back today, £600 back for the Knox because a Vicky supported me and Buster and said, no, sod it, I ain't going to haggle, Steve. Here's a 600 And uh, when I've just got in now, I had a letter off the tax man. And, uh, but, oh, my God, I'm only one letter away from being in the shit, really, like a lot of people. If you get the wrong, wrong letter that you're not expecting, uh, it was actually... £400 that Rachel, Rachel had a tax rebate off the tax man the day she died on June the 6th, June the 4th, 2020, it's about 21 months ago, she had a tax rebate for 430 quid. it took them all this time to get it back to me, so I've walked in and Rachel's tax rebate has finally been sent to me in my name. So, yeah, I might have got the big bangers, but she was looking out for me today, viewers. Sorry for waffling. Like I said earlier, please like, comment and subscribe because Bunty loves you. God bless you.